All right, we're back. We are in the region of Sirith Ungol. We've got a lot of cleanup to do, but for now, let's go ahead and hit the ritual. It is time we attacked this chosen problem at its source. The closer we get, the closer we come to facing their master. Agreed, let's do it. <laughs> Altariel has discovered the location of a Nazgul ritual. Disrupt it to prevent the Nazgul from creating more Chosen. So that's how the Chosen are created. I thought it'd be more festive. Hmm. The Nazgul is entirely focused on the ritual. This is the perfect time to strike. Archers cover the approach. It would be wise to eliminate them quietly. half as many guts as swine. Or if it's the same amount, only smaller. So we're going to start by dominating some of these archers. I don't see a time limit. Man, there's a lot of archers. One head per spike. That's how you do it. Not complaining though. Just means I'll be getting a lot of backup. Stick to killing them. Never <laughs> You're telling me. Spends half his time talking about how smart he is, and the other half him. Did you hear that? Okay, there's two more archers over there. Okay, now I feel like I'm ready to go. Get rid of all the normies. Welcome, Talia. Come to join these three in service to the Witch King. For that is your destiny. You must know this. We will never stop. Not with the Chosen, and not with you. The Witch King will never stop. There's no point resisting. Why must you be so stubborn? Can't take this standing around. I need to kill. I'm gonna cut you slow and savor every twitch. Not so 
Okay, one down. The agony, the pain. Oh, sorry. I'm not in pain. <laughs> I'm just describing what the next few minutes will be like for you. Agony! Pain! Okay. Sure, buddy. To lie down and die. Another death to fire, huh? You okay. First. Well fought, but this was not the last ritual. Nope. And it will not be the last fight. Nope. The effects of our victory will be far-reaching. We've seized the initiative. Now they are forced onto the defensive. Back an enemy into a corner, eh? Usually when they become the most dangerous. And then the next one is in Minas Morgul, so this is going to be a very, very short video, because I'm not ready to move on to Minas Morgul yet. So what do we want to do next? I see we've got a memory over here. Let's go get it. Something <laughs> I lived in the light for many years, naked to the sun. But it is not to be my fate. Like my mother before me, I devour the light. It feeds a hunger that is insatiable. But I came from darkness, and I shall always return to it. The caves will be my home. Stand against them. Destroy them. They will only keep coming. Sacrifices must be made. 
you would abandon me. Sacrifices must be made. Yeah, that was always going to happen. Sending normal soldiers against Shelob? Like, what are you doing? Damn. That's the first, like, full memory we've gotten. Activating the skill upgrade allows you to summon a cluster of spiders with two. They have poison attacks. What, no commentary from Talion or Celebrimbor? Okay. Well, I think... Oh wait, no. I was about to say we're gonna finish up here, but let's do this, uh, let's do this mission first. Wrong place, wrong time. The Grog Hoarder. Draw out the Grog Hoarder by destroying his Grog and then dominate him. When I made war on Sauron, many war chiefs flocked to my banner. Among the most useful, though not the most subtle was the Grog Horder. He was a terror in battle, and child's play to manipulate. Hit ten orcs with a single fire pit or Grog Barrel explosion. Okay, so we're looking for a place where there's lots and lots of orcs standing around a Grog Barrel. That's four. There's no time limit here, so we're just gonna search for the perfect spot.
Okay, I feel like what I need to do is I need to draw enemies toward me. If I want this to work. Like, I'm not going to be able to do this sneakily. So I'm just going to, like, try to draw a bunch of enemies toward me. I'm just going to dodge around, bring as many enemies here to this barrel as I can. Got my 10. Awesome. Now we go back to the shadows. Oh, it's the stack specifically that I need to destroy. Okay. Me thirsty and and B. I mean, <laughs> second, second, it's just frightful. Grab and dominate. Okay, so I need to like use control to grab him and then dominate him. Okay, no problem. It's not how I usually do things, so we'll see if I can manage it. Hey, I'm gonna stomp you into the mud. Then. I'm going to stomp on you some more, and then I'll have myself a drink. Now we're dealing with the uh, sub-captains first. Here's your challenge. You'll find I'm harder to kill than the rest. No! I promise you the sweetest suffering. Oh, yes. Jesus. So annoying. Got 
Try to get some health back. That's a good start. Okay, got the health back. That exploding arrow is really annoying. So hit and run it is. Okay, that's two down. Now we just gotta get the war chief. Maybe wait till things calm down a little bit. There's an awful lot of enemies out there. Again, no time limit, no need to be super quick about this. They're all starting to spread out again. See if I can bring him around here. Okay, so grabbing him is going to be tough because he's surrounded by people.
See if I can get him to run away from his retinue. There we go. Not bad, and we got the gold. I'll take it. Very well. Was it grog or deep-seated loathing that fueled his rage? No matter. He was among my most fearsome war chiefs. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take over this uh, this fortress. And I kind of think what I want to do, there's an achievement for dominating all of the war chiefs. So I think that's what we're going to do, but we're going to do it in the next video. Thank you for or thank you very much for watching. I hope I'll see you then.